Welcome to our latest Wondering Walks of Wonder campus tour. Today we're headed to the Rolls-Holman Institute of Technology. This is a private university near Terre Haute, Indiana and was established in 1874. Initially, school just offered three bachelor's degree programs, but over the years it has expanded into 12 academic departments, providing more than 30 undergraduate and graduate programs in science, engineering, technology, engineering management, and includes awarding to both bachelor's and now master's degrees. In fact, Rose Holman is listed as one of the top engineering schools in the, Uti- in the entire country. Our first stop on our tour is Hatfield Hall. Opened in 2002, Hatfield Hall serves as a multifaceted facility featuring a 602-seat theater, an alumni center, as well as offices for development, communications, marketing, and alumni affairs. The building was made possible through a generous donation in 1980 from 1984 alumnus Mike Hatfield and his wife Deborah. Chauncey Rose, along with nine associates, founded the Terre Haute School of Industrial Science in 1874 to address the challenge of recruiting local engineers during the construction of his railroads. Rose contributed the land at 13th and Locust Street in Terre Haute and most of the funding that established the school. A year later, the cornerstone of the institution was laid and its name was changed to Rose Polytechnic Institute, despite Rose's objections. The original campus consisted of a single building without dormitories or recreational facilities. By 1917, the growing school relocated to a 123-acre site east of Terre Haute that was donated by the Holman family. The new campus opened in 1922 with Munch Hall and Deming Hall, its first dormitory, both of which remain integral to the school today. Munch Hall is the central ad- academic hub of Rose Holman. It houses a diverse range of departments including electrical and computer engineering, mechanical engineering, physics, and much more. The building provides students with advanced learning opportunities and state-of-the-art facilities. Beyond academic spaces, Munch Hall also hosts key administrative offices, including admissions, the business office, and administrative services department. The building opened in 1922 and is the oldest building on campus. Hadley Hall serves as the Administration Center for Rose Holman Institute of Technology. It houses the offices of the President and the Dean of Faculty, as well as offices for institutional research, planning, and assessment. The building is named in honor of George Hadley and his wife, Mary Hadley, whose generous support benefited the institution. Mary was the founder of the internationally renowned Hadley uh, Pottery, and the campus proudly displays several of her pieces as a testament to her artistic legacy. Olin Hall and the Olin Advanced Learning Center is home to the chemical engineering and civil engineering departments. It features standout features such as the Chemical Engineering High Bay Lab. This lab is a highlight of campus tours and offers undergraduate students hands-on resources often reserved for graduate programs at other institutions.
one of the first residence halls that we see on our tour is Barris Sames Bogart Hall. This building opened in 1956 and offers accommodations for 120 freshmen and 24 upperclassmen. Located just a short distance from Munch Hall, Hall, the main academic building, Deming Hall sits on a ridge with a scenic view of the lakes and athletic field. This residence hall houses about 80 freshmen on three floors and up to 30 upperclassmen reside on the floor, fourth floor. Ahead of us is Massillon Uni Uni Union. Here we find ourselves at the heart of campus life. This building houses campus dining services and offers a great view of the campus lakes while students eat. It also contains the bookstore, the Office of Student Affairs, the Office of Career Services, as well as various meeting rooms. Here students can enjoy lounges, a game room, counseling services, and much more. Across Speed Lake is the beautiful White Chapel made possible by the generous donation of the White family and other contributors. It offers a peaceful space for worship as well as spiritual reflection. It's a popular venue for alumni weddings and services for campus groups. The chapel's unique design and stunning surroundings create a serene atmosphere for worship. Many of the buildings we see in front of us and to our left as we continue our walk on campus are some of the residence halls, various residence halls that can be found on campus. Ahead of us is the Sports and Recreation Center. Rolls-Holman's impressive Sports and Recre Recreation Center is a 156,000-square-foot state-of-the-art facility that was built in 1997. 
It serves as a hub for both intramural as well as varsity athletics that offers a wide range of recreation and fitness opportunities for students and athletes. Inside the building is the 1,700-seat Hulbert Arena, which is home to the Fighting Engineers men and women's basketball team and volleyball squad. Cook Stadium is the home of the Fighting Engineers football team. It offers a beautiful venue for NCAA Division III football games. The stadium seats over 2,500 fans and provides an exciting atmosphere for every game. In 2010, Phil Brown Field at Cook Stadium received a new surface, ensuring that the field remains in top condition for each new football season. We now head back into the academic area of the campus of Rose Holman Institute. Uh, one of the buildings that we see here is Logan Library. Ahead uh, of it uh, in just a little bit is Crapple Hall. And then we have the Meyer Center for Technology Research with Industry. All of these buildings support the active and very popular student life here on campus as well as learning opportunities that can't be found at any other institution for technology in the United States.
I hope you've enjoyed this Wondering Walks of Wonder Campus tour here at the Rose Home and Institute of Technology. If you're an alumni of the school or a current student, leave a comment on some of the things that you like best about the university. Also, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you on our next Wondering Walks of Wonder City, Campus, or Museum tour. Take care now. Bye-bye.